Inside the MBA, your bi-weekly window into what's happening at the MBA. Today I'm here with Dr. Meg Myers Morgan and she is going to talk to us about how to negotiate our life and that means everything. So I'd like to welcome you, Dr. Meg. Nice to see you. Thank you for being part of Empower. When I first saw the um, TED Talk that you did, yeah. I was struck by the fact that you said you learned all you needed to know about negotiating from your daughter. Can yes. you tell me what you meant by that? Yes. Yeah. So I have a very strong-willed older child, and when she was born, I just was able to recognize these traits in her that I wasn't able to do, which was ask for everything that you want, never get tired of asking for it, have all the reasons in the world why you deserve it, and to not carry any shame or concern about getting her own needs met. And that wasn't something that at 35 I was even able to do. So I was really seeing that as a way to frame my own negotiations. Well, it sounds like your daughter is brilliant. She is brilliant. And you mentioned to me as we were talking off camera that there were really three things that get in women's way, mm -hmm. like our way. Mm -hmm for asking for what we want yeah. or what we need. And it doesn't come easy to women, so what are the barriers? Yeah, the three things are incredibly simple, but they come up whether we're asking for money or for help from our spouse. It's we don't know that we can ask. If we could, we don't know what we would ask. And if we ask, we are worried what people will think when we do. So how that looks in practice is you might get a job offer and you might say, I'm not sure this is a chance, that I have a chance to negotiate even if I did negotiate, I'm not sure what I would ask for. And if I ask for it, are they going to think I'm greedy or ungrateful or hard to work with? And so you see that pattern any time that you're trying to negotiate for something. And you say everything is negotiable. Everything. So when I break down those three, mm -hmm. I have to take the first step and know I can negotiate. Yes. I say you have to identify whatever the pain point is. So often when it comes to money, it's usually resentment. That's the pain point. We're resentful of something, which means that if we get what we deserve, we're going to feel less resentful. But there may be other pain points. You may be bored or, or feel undervalued or not feel respected enough. And so anytime there is a pain point, you can negotiate out of that. And you have to be prepared when you go in. So mm -hmm. if you identify that pain point, mm -hmm. how do I get to that next step? How do I get ready to have this conversation? Yeah, I think you need to really talk to other people and maybe look for a mentor or somebody out in the field that can help you be a little bit more objective. And then I always say just lead with that ask that we don't want to back ourselves into the negotiation or, or apologize ourselves into it. I'm so sorry to ask for this, but I really feel I deserve it. Or we'll come in and say all of the data and then the ask, but you really just have to get very clear on what it is that you need. Be very clear and intentional about how you ask. Give whoever you're asking, if it's a boss, a heads up, and then go in and be confident. And the dreaded, what will people think? Yeah. Or what will my boss think yeah. that I am asking or I'm pushing the envelope on yeah. this? I think it's the hardest one to get yeah. over. Any tips on how we can get um, better at feeling confident and not worrying about what the other person's going to think? I think what's, what's freeing to me is we don't really ever know. So if we could just reframe any negative thing they might think to a positive thing they might think, it's much easier. If I go in and I'm strong and I'm confident, they're going to think that I'm great, not that they're going to think I'm needy or ungrateful. So we have to really kind of think of other ways that people can think about us. But often what we're worried other people will think is what we think about ourselves. And so we have to just kind of explore why, why are we so concerned with that? And that's more of an inside job. So make the ask. Make the ask. Be very clear on what it really is mm -hmm. we want, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes you said you think it's more money, but in fact, it might be something else completely yeah. because if you're feeling overworked or you don't have enough time, all the money in the world isn't going to change that. Yeah. So really be clear on what yeah. it is. That's why knowing what that pain point is, it may not be financial. And often when women are trying to negotiate their salaries, they do need to be paid more, but then there's a deeper concern there because often you'll get more salary, but you still don't feel valued at work. And so it's really about finding what that pain point right. is and what's going to alleviate it. Right. And one last question. Mm -hmm. You talk about when you try to really identify what the ask is or what you want. Yes. We have other voices that uh -huh. come into play mm -hmm. that 
kind of shape our um, views. Mm -hmm. Can you describe that and how we um, yep. knock those people out of our head? <laughs> yeah, we confuse our wants all the time. So we are very concerned with what other people make and what other people's careers look like. And you cannot negotiate for yourself on other people's terms. So you have to be really clear not only with what you want and what you need, but what uh, the market may say about your specific uh, role. Mm -hmm. And the minute we stop watching other people, it becomes very clear what it is that we want and what we're worth. So take time with yourself and really think through mm -hmm. what it is you want and yes. then take those other steps. Well, Dr. Meg, thank you, thank so, you so much. much I really appreciate the advice. Thank you.